guys, we all watched the film from yesterday, and I hope everyone knows it wasn't good enough. Today's practice has got to be great. You want to win a ball game? Take advantage Here we go. Flying in. Waiting. Here we go. Flying in. Waiting. Here we go. Here we go. Flying in. What do you think? Here we go. Why are they? What do you think? Hey, here we go. Why are they? What do you think? Coach EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the Lone Star State and the very mammoth. On fourth down, Matt Hawk is on to punt. Yeah, last week in the loss, five punts as he gets this one away. And he fields it cleanly. A great return there of 22 yards. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. So here are the Cowboys that are head coach Jason Garrett as they get set for their first opportunity. It's the Mississippi State product at quarterback calling the shots will be Dak Prescott. It gets by him and now a little daylight. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. These are his numbers from last week's contest. And Charles, how do you think he ran the football? I thought he definitely had his moments. I did think that they could have utilized him a little bit better, and I'm definitely going to keep an eye on him to see how they're going to use him this week. The good run on first down followed up by a not-so-good run on second down. Now let's find out they're going to stick with the run here on third down. A lot of people would love to see some play action here. I say go with your best running play over your best blocker. And he will be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. Strong start by this defense. Third and short, they go with a run. Stonewalled for no gain. I played for a guy who always talked about setting tones and meeting force with force. That felt like it on that play, didn't it? And they met it in a big way and won. What a great job by the defense. Here's Matt Hawk now as he'll punt it away for the second time. He'll return it from the six. A good return there. Call it 13 Let's go, yards. Let's go. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. So out come the Cowboys now as their offense gets set to take over. And the last drive, their first drive, three and out. What changes here, if anything? I think it's making sure the guys that you trust the most with the ball, the biggest playmakers you have, that they touch it on this possession to try and get things moving. So get it to the horses. Without a doubt. They're the ones that typically end up in the end zone. This will be a short gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. Yeah! 
Well, look now at our starting defense. They come into this one way down at number 23 against the run of the NFL. And when people talk about facing a challenge, they are certainly getting one in this ball game because they're facing the number one rushing unit in the NFL, which means it's going to be a contest they've got to be prepared for from the first snap. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. And he'll give it here to his running back. Breaks the tackle. He's got room to run. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. A great play there. 78 yards. As his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. So much talk this week on the other side about slowing him down coming off that great performance NFC Offensive Player of the Week last week. But long touchdown run there, nobody was stopping it. Yeah, good luck for that because that was an explosive. And to give this time to the tailback. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. A loss of two there, second down. Bear in mind, that wasn't a big lineman back there for the tackle for loss. That was a cornerback. So are you saying the myth has been shattered? That all of them are not just cover corners? Some of them actually will stick their nose in and tackle when necessary? That's what we just saw, isn't it? Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. And this is a guy straight out of college. They're not going to try to groom for a year or two. They want him to produce right away. That's why they took him in the first round. They expect him to be a starter right away and a future All-Pro. So they don't have any time to wait for him to come along. They want him to play right now to help this team. They added a lot of talent to a roster that really needed an infusion of youth. They got a very good infusion. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Credit the sack to the safety, Rashad Jones. They'll try again on second and goal after going backwards to the 12. You better be afraid of me. 49. Now a handoff here to his running back. Run, run, run. And oh, he's going to be brought down by the face mask. Here come the flags. This is going to get him a face first mask. down. Defense. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag. But you caused the play. You did it. I had to. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. After 1-7-0 on EA Sports. No gain there, and it's going to bring up a third down. An extra defensive back on the field here for third and goal. Prescott to throw it. And this is caught for a Cowboy touchdown. Randall Cobb, his first touchdown. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Going to give this time to the tailback. And he'll get about four across the 30 to the 32. And that's one of the reasons you like to blitz even on rundowns. It confuses the blocking assignments. It doesn't allow those offensive linemen to get up to the second level. The Cowboys on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. Here it's third and three. And brought down but not before reaching the 45-yard line. 13 yards and a first down, Cowboys. This guy is well on his way now to a big game on the ground. It's another good run there. Puts him over the century mark in yardage, and we're still in the second quarter. Now a handoff here to his running back. Slipped one tackle, but no more as he's knocked to the deck behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Check, check, watch 54, watch 54. They're going to need some therapy out here. Check, 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 check.
Now a handoff looking right. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. 14 yards, good for a Cowboy first down. Now this is an example of breaking down a defense because in a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack, and guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. We've hit the two-minute mark of the second quarter, 14-7. to seven. We play to win. And we'll remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll join Jonathan Coachman and the gang in Orlando. Coach will have stats and scores from the early games going on here around the NFL. Flashed the stick skills, but didn't get a ton from it. Stopped short of the 35. He's trying to parlay that great performance last week, NFC Offensive Player of the Week in Week 2, into a great performance in Week 3. And the way he was able to do it last week, he started off doing it again this week. Energy. The way he comes off the line of scrimmage, attacks the defense, sets them back on their heels, and he finds openings as a result. The last completion actually lost a yard, so now they'll need to convert on third down. That's complete to Cobb. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. They'll run it now, out of the gun. So a nice job to break the one tackle, but not much daylight after that as he's brought down. Call it a gain of four there, so it sets up a big play here. Third and a yard. Here's Prescott. Oh, he may have gotten lucky. Tried to dump it off underneath on the check down. They'll start the third quarter here on the ground. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. These Cowboys looking good here at AT&T Stadium. Of course, they were really good in this building last year. Seven and one in their eight games played at home. The only loss was on a Monday night to Tennessee. So he got free of one tackle, but couldn't do a whole lot else third quarter and you've got the lead you're not ready to go into that four minute offense to close the game out but a running game can really benefit your team right now he's going to hit his man out of the backfield complete and yeah, boy he is very close to a first down but from where they're spot here's matt hawk now as he's on to punt for miami So a change of possession here on the punt. So here are the Cowboys to take over. They've won two straight, and they lead this one as well as they come up on first and ten. Here's a run on first down that doesn't accomplish anything. In fact, he's going to be tackled behind the line for a loss of one. It'll be a loss of one, and that'll bring up a second and 11. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. To throw is Prescott. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And they finally get him, but not before he reaches the 33-yard line. I know we love our jobs. And pretty much any play we see, we're pretty, you know, excited about. But big plays, let's face it, that's what we absolutely live for. How about that one? That was great. And what our camera missed was the fist pumps from the sideline after that catch. They're fired out. That's a big game. It's a gain of 16 in the Dallas first down. It's been a remarkable day at the office for him running the football. Those yards just continue to pile well past 100. And how about more than double-digit carries in the second half alone? That's what you want as a runner because you've got to prove to your offensive line that you're going to be as tough as they are. They don't rotate in and out on every play. Running backs often do, so those who can stay out there with their offensive linemen, those are the guys they really value. And he'll take this from the nine down to about the seven. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Prescott 
And he'll give it here to his running back. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. Brandon, you know how many times we've done games, and at the start of the fourth quarter, we see both teams hold up the four fingers, four quarters, hours. Well, how about this drive? You saw the four fingers for four-minute offense, and this offensive line has really hunkered down and established themselves. Now, this is where they say, put the game on our shoulders, we'll lead the way, right? No doubt about it. But let me tell you, if you're a running back, all you want to do is get behind those big fellas, have a little vision, and find some space. And a solid way to do that on the first play of the drive there. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. Prescott completes it to Jason Witten. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. This is third and two. Maybe the biggest play in this football game. Check the backer, check the backer. Here goes 46, 46. Right there, 54, right there. Prescott now. They'll get nothing out of the completion there, and it leads to a fourth down. I hate to surrender the football when you're nursing a slim lead, but they're going to have to punt it away. Trust that defense. It's the right play at this stage of the game as well. You don't need to press it here because you do have that little bit of a cushion and you count on your D to make it. Here we go, here we go. Check, 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 check. Here's Prescott. And there is Amari Cooper, his first catch. And he'll get this from the 25 to the 30 for a pickup of five. Ball on the 30, they'll come up with a second and five. Prescott to throw. Looking and finding Allen Hearns. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Hearns brings it in. The Cowboys looking to get going again in a hurry. Prescott. This is caught by Hearns. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Tighten up, tighten up. Kill, kill. They'll run it now out of the gun. And a nice move will yield nothing as he's stopped behind the line. The Cowboys signal for their third and final. Hey, here we go. Line, hey. 52. Blue there. Blue there. Switch, switch, switch. They're going to 52. Gun, gun, gun. Now Prescott. And the throw there going to be incomplete. It was Mika Fitzpatrick that time to break that. Here's Matt Hawk now. On for a very important punt here in overtime. And this is going to be ruled out, I think, just inside the 20. Yes, it will. Side judge calls it at the 19-yard line. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. Their defense did its job, got the stop. All they need is three, and this is over. Couldn't have done much else other than score themselves and end it. But they turned it back over to them, and now all they need is a field goal to win the game. An excellent job by the defense. Can the offense finish things off? Yeah, part one is done, now part two. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. He's got a first down past the 30. And finally brought down at the 34-yard line. It's a gain of 16 in the Dallas first down. He continues to be effective running the football, a big reason that they have the lead. And I love one of the quotes that I read about him where he said of himself, I love it when a team just hops on my back and I just carry them along. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Going to give this time to the tailback. 
Oh, an absolutely filthy juke. He's got some space now. It's a gain of 16 in the Dallas first down. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! And they really needed to get something going, didn't they? They had punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them. Providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. <laughs> and able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. I don't want to overhype it, but this is a big early season game, especially an overtime win. That can give you a big boost going forward in the season. It certainly can, and I don't think you're overhyping it because cliches go out the window when you start to play overtime. And you're right, the winner of this game now, that's an extra boost moving forward. And it actually is an extra hurt for the team that loses because normally you shake it off, but in this situation, it lingers a little bit longer. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. There on the tackle, Mika Fitzpatrick. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Hey, watch it, watch it. Right there, 54, right there, right there, 54 Mike. And we're going to 54, why is Sick guy, check sick guy. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. And I know you, with every carry, especially in overtime, you're just saying, if you're that ball carrier, hold on to the football. Hold on to it, protect it, but not necessarily settle it, because you're trying to get to the end zone. You're trying to end the game right here. And I know the defensive guys poking. And he's into the end zone for the touchdown and the game winner. Team. A partner, great game that we got to see and making it extra special. Not only did I get four quarters with you in this one, I got some overtime, a little whipped cream on top. Look at you, trying to make this whole thing palatable. I just want you to pay for my meal later. And you really just wanted four quarters, <laughs> what you wanted, but how much fun was that? We had that type of a game where we got us to overtime, and then we get the dramatic ending to finish things off as well. What a game.